There is much speculation in the smartphone industry around a second Samsung Unpacked event taking place at the end of July, according to multiple sources. This might be due to an attempt by Samsung to preempt any announcements made by Google about their upcoming foldable phone. Information about the Pixel Fold was made public yesterday, and it is anticipated that its official announcement will be made on May 10th. It's expected to go on sale before the releases of Samsung's Galaxy Z Fold 5 and Galaxy Z Flip 5. It seems Samsung doesn't want to lose customers to their competitors concerning the foldable device. A source from Hankyung suggests that they are hoping to gain sales of the iPhone 15 series, which makes a lot of sense. As per Hankyung, a South Korean economy newspaper, Samsung is looking for ways to have their Z Fold 5 and Z Flip 5 on the market for a longer time before the launch of Apple's iPhone 15. This would enable them to gain maximum profit in the third quarter of 2023, starting from July. It looks like Samsung's long-awaited foldable phone will go on sale starting in mid-August. This time of the year usually marks Galaxy Unpacked where the manufacturer announces their newest smartphones and shortly after, pre-orders open and deliveries start following days later. In 2019, sales began on the 23rd of August. However, September is the month when Apple launches its new iPhones. Thus, Samsung is short-lived with its foldable being the latest high-end smartphone. Apple announced the iPhone 14 on September 7th. And those who want a premium cell phone can wait a little longer to buy a new iPhone or an old one that suffers a price reduction. Samsung released the new Galaxy Fold 5 and Galaxy Flip 5 in August, giving them a two-week head start in dominating the premium segment until Apple launches their iPhones. Samsung is giving itself an advantage by launching the Galaxy Unpacked event at the end of July and introducing Foldable in mid-August. This strategy gives them a chance to take away potential customers from Apple. Google does seem to have gone a little overboard with the width of the Pixel Fold's cover display, and the bezels around the inner display could have been done with a bit of trimming. For those who are looking for a foldable device that works like regular phones but can unfold for a larger view, Pixel Fold is the better choice than Samsung's Z Fold series. You can easily use the display for both content consumption and various productivity tasks. Upon close inspection, the teaser also seems to show what is a periscope zoom camera at the back, the one that's sitting alone inside a circular cutout, with rumors suggesting that it will offer 5x optical zoom. The Pixel Fold promises to give customers a genuine, cutting-edge flagship camera experience, something that Samsung has been unable to achieve with their Z Fold line of devices, even five years later, after they released their first foldable smartphone. The Galaxy Z Fold 5 may still outrank the Pixel Fold because of its stylus input and superior flagship chipset. Additionally, Google will most likely attach a high price to their device. And when you're spending upwards of $1,500, a more established global smartphone brand like Samsung, with its unbeatably wide after-sales support network, is the clear choice for most customers. The Pixel Fold is great for users who want both an expansive cover display and an advanced zoom camera without having to sacrifice these two features, unlike Galaxy Z Fold owners who have to. The Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 6 has the potential to fix the display issue, but for now, the Google Pixel Fold is providing a great option for those looking for an alternative. So, let us know your valuable thought in the comment section. Then if you guys enjoy the video, a sub to this channel will be great and I will see you in the next one. See you the next time. Peace out.